Good Sunday morning. I'm Jitsel Puente from Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories. Some Oklahoma lawmakers are debating whether schools should start later in the year. The reason behind this idea is to cut utility costs. A report was launched earlier this week to look into this issue. Officials say bills are high in July and August, which is when many districts start classes. They also say districts pay a combined $80 million a year on electricity. And time is running out to experience the Tulsa State Fair. Today is the last day to enjoy the unique food, all the rides and attractions at the fairgrounds. It runs from 10 this morning to 11 tonight. Local R&B artist Brand J will perform on the Oklahoma stage at 3 this afternoon. All concerts are free with gate admission. Also happening today, a Tulsa church is holding their 19th annual Blessing of the Pets. St. Dunstan's Episcopal Church is offering blessings to all animals starting at 11 today. They will also have treats for pets and their owners. The church is located near East 71st Street and South Yale Avenue. Now let's get a check of today's forecast with meteorologist Brandon Woolley. Hey Brandon, good morning. Good morning, Jitzel, and good morning, everyone. Daytime highs today from the 70s to the lower 80s, warmest towards the south, including McAllister at 81. Cooler up towards the north, but still comfortable. Bartlesville at 76 and 79 in Bristow. In T-Town, 77 rain showers and a chance for some severe storms cropping up this afternoon with damaging wind gusts being the primary threat. Southeasterly winds between 5 and 10 outside of the showers and storms that do form with that marginal rain risk indicated by the Storm Prediction Center over southeast Kansas and most of eastern Oklahoma today for some of those storms, severe storms this afternoon with overnight lows right around 70, 70 and prior and upper 60s around Oak Mulgee. Your latest seven day forecast, drier conditions expected tomorrow on your Monday, a little bit warmer at 81. Then a squall line looks to come through later Tuesday through Tuesday night for maybe some severe storms once again. Cooler high temperatures and low temperatures on the way, including the 40s by Thursday morning.